Good afternoon and welcome to the Arizona Myeloma Network fourth annual conference. I'm Barbara Cavanaugh and I'm the founder and president of the Arizona Myeloma Network. Our uh, principal speaker today is Dr. Robert Kyle. Dr. Kyle has been involved in myeloma research for many, many years. Um, his contributions toward a cure for myeloma have been immense. He has received many honors in the field of hematology and myeloma. Uh, all patients here today uh, have benefited from his devotion to fighting this cancer in one way or another. So I really wanted to uh, warmly welcome Dr. Robert Kyle this morning. Well, good morning. Thank you very much, uh, Jack, for those uh, kind words. It's always a uh, pleasure for me to see uh, patients with disease multiple myeloma gathering together and supporting uh, each other. I think that uh, patients uh, should gain a number of things from this conference today. Uh, first of all, they will learn more about multiple myeloma. The other thing that uh, is very important is for patients with multiple myeloma to see other patients with this disease and to see that they are doing well. Uh, this is a particularly uh, pleasant occasion for me because I've known Mr. Kavanaugh for, I guess, 17 years, something like that. And when you see people, patients uh, with this disease at that point, it's a real uplifting uh, uh, phenomenon for everyone who uh, sees uh, uh, patients like this. Uh, uh, you couldn't tell that he had anything wrong uh, with him whatsoever. My name is Lori Gerhard. I'm a nurse practitioner, and I came to learn how to be a better practitioner for my patients. You couldn't ask for a better conference. I've met really uh, informative people here that I can use as resources later on. Um, my name is Bedour Salhia. I'm a postdoctoral research fellow at the Translational Genomics Research Institute. I think that this conference is about empowering people with knowledge. This is what I think people will get out of today, is that they will walk away with a lot of new knowledge that they can use to better their lives um, as caregivers and as patients and also as um, health care providers. My name is Fred Taylor. I'm the executive director of the Southwest Prostate Cancer Foundation. My organization and Barbara Kavanaugh's uh, myeloma, Arizona Myeloma Network has been uh, interfacing for a number of years. I'm here today to help foster what she and I both are trying to do, is to get more information out about all cancers. Our total concept is to education and awareness, to reach out to all kinds of people, to help the, all of the citizens in this state to become healthy. Hi, my name is Mickey Gully, and I've been uh, volunteering with the Arizona Myeloma Network uh, for about two years. My husband is a two-year survivor of multiple myeloma. I hope people find out today that Number one, they're not alone, and there's a lot of information out there, and that they have to be their own advocate. My name is Mike Haddish, and I've been fighting uh, multiple myeloma now for, um, gosh, almost four years. What I think I would like to share with other people that are struggling with myeloma is to understand that you're not alone. There's just a wealth of information that can be gained by getting together collectively in a cancer community to fight the cancer head on as a, as a team. The Arizona Myeloma Foundation has done a tremendous effort in putting that community together here. Uh, every year that I come, I think it's gonna be the same material and I always learn many, many new things every year that I come out, so I've, I've really, really enjoyed it. It's been a great benefit to me.